the ring-necked dove Streptopia capicola is a widespread and often abundant dove species in eastern southern Africa. It is a close cousin of the common ground quail with a plumage of brown or grey feathers with a black or white ring around their neck. They are ground birds and often spend time in small trees close to the ground. They are often seen as a symbol of peace. They are a gentle species and have been domesticated for over 1,000 years. The ring-necked dove mainly drinks water which it sucks up through its straw-like beak. They often bathe in dust pits, water holes where they take the time to clean their feathers, and even in the sun where they spread their wing and enjoy the warmth. The ring-necked dove indulges itself with a choice selection of seal and other nuts and berries. Before it eats, it must check that no predators are near. On rare occasions, the dove will enjoy a treat of freshly grown millet. A stealthy predator, the dove stalks its prey. At first the seed may try to escape, but the dove is too agile and quick and snatches it in its firm beak. Even with its hard protective coating, the seed is no match for the crushing jaws of the ring-necked dove. Monogamous and territorial nesters, the ring-necked dove builds a flimsy nest about 2 to 10 meters from the ground. They lay a few eggs after they find a good nesting spot which is marked by a long coup. The ring-necked dove must defend its young against anything that may try to eat them. There are many predators that may try to eat the ring-necked dove's eggs and sometimes it is either the dove or her eggs. Watch as this common death adder slowly slithers toward this mother and her egg. Sometimes the dove will choose to run to save her own skin. On other occasions, the mother may chase the predator away to defend her young. The adder is no match for the dove's quick and nimble feet and it is soon chased away from the eggs. The ring-necked dove and its relatives are commonly hunted since their low intelligence makes them easy prey. It has a number of predators which include hawks, falcons, reptiles, cats, and the oh so very sly tree adder. You kids have a right to be afraid of what lurks in the basement. Watch as this southeastern basement adder slithers toward this ring-necked dove. Unfortunately for the dove, it cannot escape. You might as well stick a fork in this dove because it is toast. Why don't you do this? Ring neck doves are also domesticated and are used as household pets. Ring neck doves must learn to fit in with the family they are living with. Like any member of the family, they are expected to uphold household rules and abide by the standards of the residents. When a dove breaks a rule or disobeys a command, disciplinary action must be taken. Offences include walking on the floor, pooping outside of the cage, eating treats as well as making a joke, laughing, and refusing to share it with the owners. Hey, senor, what is the joke you just told? Ah, I will not tell you. You will share that we may laugh also. In situations such as these, a system called Marxism occurs. For a first offense, the dove is issued a warning. However, afterwards, for each offense, the dove will receive a mark under its name on the refrigerator. When the dove has accumulated three marks, it must serve a detention. The detention time will depend on the severity of the offense. Everyone knows birds love to fly. Doves are no exception. Watch as this dove takes the southwest flight to Denver. Similar to humans, a dove earns a plethora of frequent flyer miles. Thank you for learning about our feathered friend, the ring-necked dove. We hope you purchase one soon.